How's it going everybody? Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we're gonna do a Hypernova Chrome Vampire Nail Art. It's perfect for Halloween, kind of extra, and you'll have a 3D effect to your design. I decided to use the Ugly Ducklings number 43 Black Gel Polish and Indie Girls Sophisticated Lady as the foundation gel polishes to this design. Once you get your two coats on there, complete your um, gel polish foundation application with a non-white top coat. And I'm using the Ocean's Nail Supply Hypernova Chrome for the pigment part of this design. I decided to do two full coverage pigment nails and kind of an ombre effect on the nude one so that way it would have like a French tip design. Um, you need to make sure that you're using a non-white top coat that works with pigments and I'm just using a makeup sponge to feather it back. Uh, when I'm gonna start doing the 3D vampire nail art, I buffed the I buff the nude nail so that the acrylic stays on there um, and I just slowly work on creating the teeth and then the lips and you're just basically layering it for dimensionally rising it up from the nail bed this does take a little bit of practice and technique um, and you just kind of got to go with the flow um, I've just seen this done on several different um, people's pages pinterest google and i just figured try it and i really really loved how it came out if you look kind of in the background you'll see the first trial i did um i just didn't really like the positioning um once i had gotten everything done and i didn't like the size so i decided to do it again and make the mouth bigger um so that you can see the details of the fangs i'm using the young nails triple x white powder for the teeth portion of this nail and the ocean's nail supply black acrylic powder for the lips i chose black for the lips because whenever you're working with any type of chrome pigment um, black gives you the most vibrant look once it's done designed so i chose to do black for the lips um, and i'm just going little by little tiny bead at a time. One of my tricks that I've picked up through my travels and education, educational journey is whenever I'm doing 3D art, I like to mix my monomer and acetone 50-50 and that allows me more time to manipulate the pearl um, into the areas and the shaping that I, wanna, I want. Um, so definitely try to add a little bit of acetone to your monomer and it might help you with, um, with your timing and your you know putting in the details for any of your 3d art this goes for all kinds of 3d art flowers vampires you name it it'll work for everything you'll see as i'm finishing up the fangs i'm just adding a little bit of depth to the teeth so in the fangs um, because once i finished the black part i wanted the definition of each tooth and each line of the fangs to pop and I'm actually going in with this metal I'm not really sure what kind of tool this is I think they use it for like ceramics and potter not pottery but um, more like female clay art um, and it's just a, basically a flat ended blade that I use to put the indentations into the teeth um, and then you wait till the acrylic is slightly cured you want it to be almost cured in order for you to make the indentations to show the details i also use this tool to make indentations in flowers whenever i'm doing 3d flowers um the drip portion of this i made sure i left my bead my pearl to be a little bit more on the wetter side and just kind of used the stickiness to just drag a thin line up to meet the bottom part of these lips so it really appeared to be um, dripping off, blood dripping off the lips. Once you're satisfied with your vampire fangs and your lip ratios and the proportioning, um, I went ahead and just removed any of the pen marks that I may have had in the back by covering a little bit of the nude polish as a foundation in the center just to kind of give it kind of a shiny effect when I was done. Um, and before you're doing the hypernova chrome, you need to make sure that you also put the same non-white top coat that you put on the other nails, the full nail and the ombre tip nails over all of the black areas of your artwork. Um, this just ensures that your pigment will attach correctly to the, to the design that you're, you're trying to do. 
Wanted to add a little bit of extraness to the simpler nails by just adding these cute nail decals I got a while back um, across and a gold spider. Wanted it to still be simple. I wanted this vampire nail art to be the focal point. And so here I go with the same technique with the makeup sponge, applying it over the vampire and fang art. Um, you'll see that where I top coated is really the pigment is sticking to that. Um, you do have some excess that goes all over the nail, but I just use an old makeup brush and brush up all the excess, and this is the final result. Um, you need to make sure that if you're doing this on a client, you go above and beyond and protect this pigment because it's raised. It is going to hit a lot more than a nail art that a nail art that would be flat. So you need to make sure you go over with at least a clear base coat and then top coat it. I would even double that if you want. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I look forward to bringing you guys some more festive nail art in the future. As always, like, subscribe, comment, and check me out on social media. I really appreciate you guys' love and support. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.